We couldn't keep it from her for forever. Performances and personalities are the real special effects in this film. Wow. Mm. A star-studded cast from all over the map has gathered to create the hilarious murder mystery, Amsterdam. So we're taking a peek at the trouble this A-list team got into, starting with the Pasadena police. Number one. What do you say to make it stop? This probably isn't the first time filming has been shut down by the cops, but a cop wrapping a big budget film like this is pretty weird. In Pasadena, they went past their shooting time on location. The crew was still filming and all of the actors were still in character, just doing their thing. And this poor policewoman was yelling, stop, and nothing was happening. Nobody was stopping despite her obvious interruption. Eventually she realized she had to use film lingo to get people to listen. While she couldn't think of cut, she finally narrowed it down from stop to that's a wrap, and then everybody just immediately quit what they were doing and started packing up. Wow, a policewoman from Pasadena just wrapped this film. Number two, you can't spell improve without improv. Improvising on set was an important part of the movie. We had a hall pass there. And yeah. Explore, yeah, definitely. Sometimes speaking words that have been living in a writer's brain can make you realize they just don't work. If it fits in your mouth better and if it seems to, he's looking for organic. Number three, the whole world becomes a farce when you are Christian Bale on set. He refused to talk to Chris Rock on the set of Amsterdam. But don't worry, darling, this isn't any sort of drama like what's been up on other sets recently or even at award shows. Chris was making Christian laugh way too much. The poor man just couldn't focus. Christian said, mate, I love talking to you and we have mutual friends, but I can't do it anymore. I'm forgetting how to be Bert. It's pretty common for the star to distance himself, even from people he's a huge admirer of, like Chris Rock, because he feels once he knows people, well, he just can't focus the way he's supposed to. Number four, beware the actors with ideas. Mike Myers was the class clown on set. We mean that in a good way. He could have the cast and crew cracking up during every scene. Myers came up with that sand dance. So Required good. a costume and uh, production design and they whipped it up like that. Number five, Amsterdam, is that you? Despite being called Amsterdam, you'll be disappointed to hear, or not, we don't know, that the movie was shot in Los Angeles and not Amsterdam. The film was originally going to be called Canterbury Glass. Maybe that would have been a more accurate title. Number six, do you think Swift wanders around with merch in her purse? Taylor Swift's album Folklore came out while they were filming, so Swift gave Margot Robbie a bunch of merch. What Robbie finds hilarious is that it wasn't her girlfriends who freaked out about it, but her guy friends. And they all wanted the merch so bad that she shared. Mind you, Robbie knows Swift, so it was just exciting for her to work with another friend. Number seven, you don't become an actor because it's work, so why wouldn't you want to be on set? Andrea Riseborough wanted to be on set even when she wasn't called because there were so many brilliant stars, it felt a waste to be anywhere else. So we got to watch each other in a way we might not have done because it's quite intrusive sometimes. Number eight, this situation is like eating dessert first and finishing with beans. Day one of filming for Margot Robbie came with filming fight scenes and also supplied her with her favorite line. I'll send you to a witch trial. Yeah. That would make for a very disappointing shoot following that. Number nine, hey Christian, did you get a new haircut? You're looking fabulous today. That's how he must have felt when people recognized where he got his characterization from. Christian Bale took inspiration from the blue collar detective Frank Columbo from the American crime drama series Columbo. Bale was not shy when he was asked about it, saying, yes, yes, his mannerisms, I studied him for sure. Number 10, go on Margot, just take something, just a little something, nobody will notice. Margot Robbie's not one to steal from set. She did get Harley Quinn's bat, but she asked permission first. She's always thinking, they're gonna need to put this in the archives until they're sure there's not gonna be any additional photography. So she feels it's easier on the crew not to take anything. Andrea was feeling like, this isn't the kind of show you want mementos of anyway. You're pretty ready to leave it all behind when filming is wrapped by the Pasadena police. Number 11, do we want the red pill or the blue pill? Is both an option? Amsterdam has two possible and wildly different endings. Margot Robbie was asked about which ending she liked most. I said, well, that ending leaves me thinking, but that ending 
leaves me feeling. She recommended the one that leaves her feeling, but she doesn't know which one he went with yet. Number 12. What doesn't work out for one, works out for another. Michael B. Jordan was cast for the project come the April 2020 shoot, but thanks to good old COVID, Jordan couldn't do the shoot due to some conflicts and was replaced by John David Washington. This concoction of actors isn't something we could have dreamed up in a million years, but we love it. Do you think the cast was completely oblivious of that police officer? Let us know in the comments and thanks for hanging out with us here at The Things.